Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to delete temporary files and free up disk space using the disk cleanup utility in Windows 7 also known as the disk cleanup wizard. The disk cleanup utility is a simple tool for removing temporary files from your PC thus freeing up hard drive space. Over time your computer may accumulate a lot of temporary files error logs, setup logs, and other useless files. So it can be worthwhile running this utility from time to time. Let's begin on showing you how to access the utility. Go over to your start button. Click start. In the search programs and files box type disk cleanup. D ISK space C L E A N U P. As you will notice in your programs list, you will see a selection that's marked Disk Cleanup. Go ahead and click it. You will then be prompted to select the drive you want Windows, the Disk Cleanup Wizard, to clean up. Choose your system drive. If you uh, click the drop down box you will notice it will show you all of the drives that are attached to your PC at this time. Most people will just have one drive, a C drive. Some people may have a C and a D drive. You will want to select the drive your Windows system is installed on. That would in most part be your C drive. Go ahead and select it then click OK. Once you have done that, the wizard will then scan through the C drive or your Windows system drive and look for old, obsolete, useless files to do, to, that are available to be removed. Once it has done that, you will be presented with the disk cleanup box. Now in this box, it will show you the files that are available to delete. You will have several uh, should be unchecked boxes so I'll uncheck mine um, and you will be provided with the option of checking which files you want to delete at this time you have your downloaded program files these are files uh, if you notice down here in the small description box there there's a description for what each of these files represent um, the downloaded program files are basically your Adobe Flash installer, your Java applet, stuff like that. Um, you don't, you no longer need the installer once it's been installed. So you can go ahead and select that to be deleted. Your temporary internet files are basically just the files you accumulate as you surf the web. You definitely want to remove those. So go ahead and select those. Your recycle bin, uh, which you would like to have cleaned up at this time as well. The only thing I would suggest to you before you let the disk cleanup wizard uh, remove the files from your recycle bin is to go through your recycle bin. Check and make sure everything that's in there you want deleted. If there's something in there that you don't want deleted, restore it from the recycle bin and then come back to the disk wizard and select the recycle bin to be cleaned up. Your temporary files, these are files that are created by programs running, uh, installed, uh, apps that are being installed, uh, even some are created by Windows. Some programs delete their files on their own, some don't. This, this particular folder can grow quite greatly in size over a course of time. Mine's is at zero because my system has been cleaned up already, but yours may be ex exponentially larger than this. So you will definitely want to clean that. So go ahead and select it. You will also notice down here in the description box that there's two other options or buttons that you can select. One for clean up system files and one for view files right now you're interested in the cleanup system files go ahead and click it windows will again ask you to select the drive that you want cleaned up you want it you want the c drive so leave that selected or select it and then click ok it will then scan again this time looking for windows system files that aren't needed anymore or obsolete 
once you have done that you may be presented with a few extra options in the files to delete box uh, such as setup logs uh, user error report logs and system error report logs these files are also okay to be deleted as long as your system is currently running in good condition if you're having problems with your system at this particular point in time don't delete those files the setup logs the user error reports and the system error reports these files do contain important data uh, that will help troubleshoot your PC should it be running incorrectly at this particular time if it's running fine go ahead and delete them uh, you will also notice that another tab appeared the more options tab go ahead and click it in this tab you're offered two more selections programs and features this will allow you to clean up your installed programs you may have some programs installed on your computer that you no longer want if you click clean up the programs and features uh, box will open and it will give you the option to uninstall the programs you have installed on your system that you no longer use or want if you go through the list and click the program you don't want you will notice um, a little button that will show up here that says uninstall this program if you click it the programs uninstaller will run and the program will be removed right now there's nothing here I want to uninstall from my computer it might be the same on yours so we'll go ahead and close that box the second selection is system restore and shadow copies uh, basically what this option will clean up is your old system restore points um, it will leave the most recent restore point if you install software regularly or had to update drivers recently you may have quite a few restore points that you no longer need the only one you really need is your most recent one now if your computer is currently running and having problems then you wouldn't want to uh, delete your older restore points at this point but if your computer is running fine and you're not having any problems it's perfectly fine to delete all but the most recent restore point so go ahead and click clean up windows will then ask you again are you sure you want to delete all but the most recent restore point yes I'm sure go ahead and click delete at this point it should run and uh, process the restore points removing all except the most recent my system doesn't have any restore points at this point so you won't you don't see anything uh, it should process that for a few minutes to uh, several minutes depending on the size of your hard drive and how many restore points you have once it's done the box will disappear you can go back to the disk cleanup tab check make sure you have everything you want to clean up select it you can even check right here it says total amount of disk space you gain it will show exactly how much space will be uh, cleaned up and what you what your hard drive will gain back once you run the, cl uh, the cleanup and once you've checked that you have every everything selected here that you want go ahead and click OK it will prompt you again are you sure you want to permanently delete these files yes click delete files windows will now process all of the files you want to delete and once it's done the disk cleanup uh, wizard will close at this particular point in time it's a good idea to go ahead and restart your PC so any files that Windows can't delete while it's running it will delete when it reboots and that's the end of this tutorial on how to delete temporary files and free up disk space using the disk cleanup utility in Windows 7 Thank you for viewing.